Have you ever thought about how cool it would be for a cozy-ish, open-world crafting game to be centered around a giant mech? Because I have, and it's currently my main obsession. It's your gamer girl, Kimmy Ann, at the Illuminati, bringing you our first look at the popular new game, Lightyear Frontier. Developed and published by Frame Break and Amplifier Studios, this game recently launched its early access across PC and Xbox XS. Lightyear Frontier centers around what happens after you crash on a new planet. Where will you set up camp? What upgrades will you focus on? What will you grow on your farm? Will you find all the hidden objects? All of these are up for you to decide. Or maybe for you to decide with others, since this game does allow for co-op up to three friends. However, before you begin, you need to get your mech back into working order, because you really can't do much without it. The mech holds all the tools needed to survive in this new world, including spike saw, seed shooter, irrigation hose, or what I call the super soaker, sprout cannon, and the vacuum harvester. It also doubles as the carrier for resources you might come across. Now in human form, you still have a few tools like a pickaxe for when you enter small space, but instead of just picking up the loot as one normally would, you have to bring it back over to the mech. Now that might seem a little time consuming, but in reality, most of the game centers around being in the mech. Even the gardening and building are better suited when you are riding high in your robot suit. This particular component is such a huge part of the game that a giant chunk revolves around upgrading the mech's abilities through a skill tree. The upgrade table is probably one of the first things that made me fall in love with Lightyear Frontier. Even in early access, it's easy to see how much went into really breaking everything down to allow for players to customize their experience. A good open world, especially one that focuses on building and crafting, thrives on creating a variety of options to choose from. This is also showcased in how many things there are to customize your home, which in return impacts your gameplay. Homestead works in two ways. It's where you rest for the night, which usually is something to bypass the spookies. However, in Lightyear Frontier, there are none. This game really enjoys creating that relaxed, cozy atmosphere, which brings us into our second reason, the coziness effects. This is dependent on the decorations you place within the surrounding homestead. Now, while you can build as many bases as you want across the map, the one you sleep at is the only one that truly matters. Currently, there are four coziness levels in early access, with each type of homestead with a max level. For example, the small tent maxes out at coziness level one, whereas the small cabin maxes out at two. When working to build your coziness, it's best to focus on adding new decoration items compared to doubling up on the same decorations due to the difference in boost. The reason you want to get as cozy as possible is due to the benefits it unlocks. These include things like keen eye, which gives you a chance to find additional resources in the world. Animal Friend helps animals get a chance to dig up additional resources when fed. Critical Strike gives your spike saw strikes and swings a chance to deal additional damage, while Bountiful Yield gives your harvested crops a chance to yield additional resources. Besides upgrading your mech and cozifying your base, Lightyear Frontier focuses on taking care of the environment. This is done by helping restore different regions, by cleaning up a mysterious slime substance, handling invasive weeds, replanting what you harvest, and fixing obstacles that you might come across. Each region also comes with a mix of items to find, from resources, artifacts, treasures, and findings. Artifacts are easy to find as they tend to show up as purple strange rocks with a slight chime that you'll be able to hear, which will most likely have you jumping and running around outside of your mech to find them all. While you're searching for artifacts and completing them in the regions, you will come across findings. These tend to be small moments of lore that build out the story of the planet and the lives that came before you. Treasures, on the other hand, are probably the hardest things to find and will require a keen eye. There are tons of little jumping areas and climbing puzzles, which usually will lead to something cool, so keep your eyes peeled. This only scratches the surface of what Lightyear Frontier holds, and since it's in early access, we know there is a lot more to come. On the current roadmap, we see that there are already two mega updates planned that will add new features and expand the base game. If you're wanting to find people to play with or stay in the loop of the development, Lightyear Frontier provides a Discord you can join. All in all, this game has easily become one of my favorites for 2024. 
Not only does it leave a lot open to what it can be, but it also delivers a strong base game for being in early access. It also seems to offer a variety of things that can scratch the itch for different gamers. Want to focus on building your base? Check. Want to go on an item hunt? Check. Want to explore without the fear of being attacked? Check. And don't take my word for it. You can buy Lightyear Frontier now and give it a try. Let us know in the comments what your thoughts are and make sure to check out our Thursday live show, Crit, for your weekly gaming news at 6 p.m. Thank you so much for watching the Illuminaries' first look at Lightyear Frontier and make sure to like and follow us for more nerdy content.